Now, if you're in the market for a 3D printer and you're looking for something that is super easy to use, we're talking has great capabilities, it's almost print and go, then this is gonna be the video for you. Because today we're gonna take a look at the CR10 Smart Pro from Creality. And this printer, while it has Pro in its name, it should have easy because it's a really easy printer to use. In today's video, we'll take a look at the features, we'll go over the specs, we'll see some of the print samples. So let's get right to it. Now the CR10 Smart Pro has a large print bed. It's gonna give you the ability to print some really large helmets or any kind of 3D figure that can take advantage of a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter bed. Large, large, large. It also has automatic bed leveling. Matter of fact, it has two type of bed leveling, one manual and the other automatic, and it works flawlessly in our experience. It does have a PEI uh, spring sheet that you're gonna be able to tear off prints super easy. Things stick and things come off like a snap. And then it also has a high temperature setting. Check this out, 300C uh, is the actual nozzle temp max. And then also you're looking at 100C uh, for the bed. A lot of different materials you're gonna be able to print with this. Um, 800 or actually 80 to 100 millimeters per second print speeds, which is really good, though I found it a little bit slower than the Ender. Now, the other thing is that it also features the same, uh, I would say, print drive or the Sprite drive uh, that you have in the new Ender. So it has a Sprite direct right. drive and it's a full metal extruder, which I love because that means that you're gonna be able to handle some abrasive materials, right? Things that you'd wanna print. Now it has a four millimeter print nozzle and then also you're looking at an ultra quiet print. Now I love printers that are super quiet because let's face it, not all of us have dedicated spaces for the printers. So that means that you can have this in a common area and it's gonna have just white noise level. Really like how ultra quiet this is. Now, because of the actual uh, temperature, right? The full metal, uh, I'd say extruder, direct drive, and also the print head nozzle temperature, what you can get it to, you're also looking at the ability to print a lot of different materials. You're talking about PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, wood, right? A lot of different options there for you. And that's gonna give you a lot of creativity uh, solutions. Now. The other thing I like about it is that because it's so tall, right? You have that, that again, 400. You do have, uh, first of all, you have dual synchronized Z-axis that's gonna keep things nice and level. And then you have some additional supports that it's gonna keep things from wobbling, which I really like. A lot of things that I see a lot of folks upgrading their printers is included in this, including Wi-Fi printing and AI camera support. Matter of fact, it comes in with, it comes with the uh, Wi-Fi camera um, in the package, so all you have to do is plug it in. It actually has a Creality box inside so that you can actually control everything from your app, see what's going on, what's printing uh, through the camera, and also start and stop prints. Now, standard filament runout sensor, and it also has power recovery, so it has all the features that you're gonna need. And I'm telling you, it is one of the easiest printers that we have set up and, and just started running. Um, I can tell you that because the print bed doesn't have a scratch. It was that easy. Let's check it out. Now the CR10 Smart Pro is a really quiet printer and has a lot of features like we discussed. So the actual print bed has been absolutely stupendous. I haven't had any issues running any kind of prints. It's one of the few beds that we've had that as we've been doing the leveling and getting things ready, I haven't torn into, which I really like. You'll notice at the very bottom, you do have some manual adjustment uh, that you can make for the springs, which are, you know, somewhat of your traditional leveling. Uh, you can level this manually or automatic, and I'm using the automatic leveling. You have a nice drawer here in the side, and what I really like about this drawer is that it has all the tools are here nicely uh, placed, really, really well organized, and allows you to tuck things away. SD card right here that is for your prints, uh, and then the interface is an updated interface. It took me a little while to get used to, but it, it's it's okay. It's it's actually it's actually better than some of the um, other uh, Creality interfaces. Very easy to use. Very uh, very responsive. Right right now we're doing a print, so some of the things here that are, uh, are kind of locked up. But the navigation itself is pretty simple. Um, this is a Wi-Fi enabled printer. You can see the little Wi-Fi symbol right there, which means that you can actually connect this to the Creality Cloud and print. You'll also notice over here I have a USB connected, which is going to this camera. Uh, this is their uh, Creality camera that's actually pointing on this, which if I was uh, connected to the Creality Cloud, I'd be able to see. This is actually a 3D printed bracket that I made for that, and it's, uh, it's connected there. Now, it is using, again, that Sprite um, full metal, I would say, extruder, right? And has that total temperature of 300C. And uh, one of the things I noticed about it is that it's slightly slower than the Ender 3. That was one thing that caught me by surprise. 
Now, what I love about just the new printers, uh, and I'm gonna show you another print that we did as well. So check this out. This was a print, let's see if we can get this on camera. Check it out, right? This is one of the ones that we printed. And um, I'll show you this in a couple seconds. It is, uh, it has that large print area, and we'll tilt up a little bit so you can see that. Massive, massive uh, print area that's gonna allow you to print you know, that 300 by 300 by 400, stuff like this. Check that out. Boom. Love it. Right? Now that's going to take a little bit, and my filament needed to be dehydrated, so there's some layer lines on there that I'm not happy about. But you know what? It's large. It's a large print, and all I have to do is dehydrate that filament, and we'll be good to go. Uh, let me show you the quality that I got from another print that actually had uh, some good filament that I have on right now. Uh, this orange. Look how clean this is. That is really, really good. Let's get a little bit, make sure that's in focus for y'all. So check that out. All right. Really like that. No supports, right? So look at that bottom right there. No supports at all. I was able to print that bottom right there really nicely. Um, it printed just like this. Uh, guess what? We have from Wexter, uh, this one right here. And again, this is a Dr. Strange. Look how clean that is. All right, that's what happens when you have a uh, good dehydrated filament. All right, lots of detail. kind of love this print. Now, we did print one of the samples that was on the SD that came with it. That's what that looked like right there. You can see really, again, again good quality there. No issues with the print. I did have some wisps right here filament. You can see right between the ears, but that's okay. And we did print uh, Benchy. And here's my Benchy. Let me pull it in camera over here. And you can see how nice that Benchy is. Look at the bottom. Very, very nice. And then you can see everything that's going on right there. No issues. Super duper clean. Right? Super duper clean. Love it. XY cube. Look at that. Nice. All right? Tolerance was good. All right? So everything came with within spec. Now, we'll get a little closer to the uh, Sprite extruder because that is something that I really like about this. Um, so I have a couple, well, I have several Creality machines and I'm kind of digging this direct drive and the, also the Sprite. So uh, full metal, uh, 300C, 100C on the bed, uh, relatively quiet, right? So right now the noise that I hear is pretty much the fan. That's pretty much it. Now, if we uh, take a peek here at the side here, Let's try to navigate this right here. One of the things that you're gonna see, and we'll tilt right here, is that there are several options right here on the side. All right, first of all, uh, what you'll notice here is that you have a USB-C port, you have your USB-A port, you have your ethernet, and then what you have over here is the power button. Now the interesting thing about this power button, you have to press and hold, right? You have to press and hold that power button in order for it to uh, power on. So we'll leave that right there for now. So press and hold to power on. Now this is just for the uh, USB uh, camera that I have. Now in addition to this, um, we'll go ahead and, and come up a little bit. Uh, one of the things I also love is that LED lamp. Love it, love it, love it. And then it does have, again, the filament sensor, brake sensor right there with the filament, the dual Z on the back, and then you have those uh, Again, your support on each side. Uh, super quiet printer, like I said. And I just think that a lot of the printers that Creality has been coming out with re recently are, are just very easy to use out of the box. You know, I joke about this and I put this on the thumbnail that while this is the Creality CR10 uh, Smart Pro, Pro is for easy because you would think that it, it would be something that had all these extra features, uh, but in, in essence they do, but the extra features make this printer so easy to use, literally. It took me 15 minutes to put together, and then uh, and that was a lot, because uh, I was uh, talking at the same time, and then uh, pretty much to get it running and to get it to print was a snap, super duper easy. So guys, that wraps up our review of the CR10 Smart Pro from Creality. See you in the next one.